What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Salty Bottom Outdoors. In this video, I'm gonna show you a quick, delicious, and simple recipe for grilling redfish. It's one of my go-tos, it's very easy. It only has four ingredients. You can do it in less than an hour. I prefer to grill it, but it also goes great in a skillet, or you can put it in the oven. So the four ingredients you'll need, first of all, you need some type of seasoning. I really like the Chef Paul Perdome's Blackened Redfish Magic. You can also substitute this for any type of seasoning that goes decent on fish. This is just super simple, grab it, shake it on, it's done. Two more ingredients you'll need is butter and garlic. Okay, I'm gonna melt those here in a few minutes. Uh, if you don't want butter, if you're looking for a more healthy option, olive oil or avocado oil work great. If you use the avocado oil or the olive oil instead of the butter, just brush it onto the fish and then sprinkle your minced garlic and your seasonings on the fish and throw it on the grill. The last ingredient you'll need is of course, some lemon slices. All right guys, let's get to cooking. So I have my redfish fillets here. These are actually redfish that I caught on the, we're gonna need a bigger cooler video. As you can see, I left the scales on the backside. We call that on the half shell. If you're baking or pan frying these, you don't need to do that. Um, if you're grilling them, it really helps keep the fish together, especially when you're putting it on and taking it off the grill. I also like them because you can just scoop them up and set them on a plate and the skin actually acts as almost like a bowl that you can just eat the meat off of and all the fat and everything stays stuck to the skin and you don't have to bother with it. So we're gonna get started here. Uh, so I take my melted butter with the garlic mixed in. I'm stirred up a little bit. Make sure I get some of that minced garlic on there. Brush it all over the fish. All right. I like to make sure I get every side that's exposed because I'm gonna completely cover this thing in that blackened seasoning. Okay, there's one. Mmm, smells good already. One thing to remember, uh, if you had just thawed out these fish like I did, or if you just clean them, pat them dry with a paper towel. They don't have to be completely dry. As a matter of fact, you don't want them completely dry, but you don't want them soaking wet either. I'm gonna take my uh, Chef Paul Perdome's Black and Red Fish Magic, and I'm just gonna sprinkle it all over these fillets. You can go as heavy or as light on these if you want. Like I said, redfish doesn't require a ton of seasoning. I just really like the flavor of this black and redfish seasoning. It also gives it a really nice color. All right, so I'm gonna pick it up a little bit, make sure I hit all these sides. Don't wanna miss a spot. All right, let's get this one right quick. Now let's go check on the grill. All right, so got my pellet grilled set at 300 you want it 300 to 350 uh, with the thicker fillets i like it on a little bit lower temperature because they will cook a little slower with the thinner fillets if you get a smaller redfish you can run it a little bit hotter cook them a little bit quicker we're just going to put that right on the grill grate that other one we're going to close the lid and give that about 10 or 15 minutes all right, guys, don't judge me too hard. Forgot to spray oil on my grill before I put them on there. A couple of them started to tear a little bit, but check that out. As soon as it comes off the grill, I'll hit it with some lemon juice, fresh squeezed. Oh, I wish y'all could smell this. She's ready to eat. All right, guys. I hope that helped y'all out next time you plan on cooking some redfish. Try this recipe out. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. I'll see y'all next time on Salty Bottom Outdoors. Cheers. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff.